Hello everyone. Today we are going to see another question on lead code and that is predict the winner. So first we'll read the question. Given an array of scores that are non-negative integers, player 1 picks one of the numbers from either end of the array followed by the player 2 and then player 1 and so on. Each time a player picks a number, that number will not be available for the next player. This continues until all the scores have been chosen. The player with the maximum score wins. So we are given an array of scores. We have to predict whether player 1 is the winner or not. So we have to predict true or false. Okay. You can assume each player plays to maximize his score. Okay. Obviously, whenever a person plays a game, he has to maximize this score. So in the input, we will be given an array and we have to output a boolean true or false. So what the question is trying to say, we will see that with the help of an example. In the example, we are given an array 1, 5, 2 and we can just choose the elements that are uh, on the uh, extreme left or on the extreme right. So in the first chance, we can choose either 1 or we can choose either 2. Okay. So if player 1 chooses 1, then player 2 is definitely going to choose 5 because he wants to maximize the score. And then the player 1 will be left no choice than to choose 2 and in that case player 1 is going to lose. Okay, so that is why false. Even if player 1 chooses 2, then 2, player 2 is going to choose 5 and that is why player 1 is going to uh, uh, accept defeat. So that is why in this case, player 1 is not going So that is why we have to return false. So uh, what I think I am going to do in this question is that uh, one of the approaches can be brute force approach can be just we would have recursion and uh, we would recursively just check for each and everything that whether this is winning or that is winning like in this question we have a choice of arrays right uh, uh, like we can choose a particular element or we can exclude it can we choose it or should we exclude it this is a choice for each and every element for multiple number of times that is why we can solve it through recursion and then uh, to just optimize that recursion we can use memoization techniques so that we do not waste a lot of recursion cycles over there right but uh, here i am doing a different approach i am using tabulation me method for this particular purpose and for that i am going to use a two cross two dimensional array dp and uh, that will be of size n cross n what this dp array is going to store is that it is going to store key uh, uh, suppose there are two uh, variables i and j i is the starting index of array and j is the ending index of the particular array that we are talking about okay so uh, what this dp array is going to store is that it is going to store how much the person is ahead of another person if he chooses the numbers between i and j that is what this dp is going to store so uh, this question is a bit tricky question because what i'm going to do here is that first i'm going to store these uh, diagonal elements why just see uh, the uh, dp of 0 0 0 what does this signify this signifies that we have left just one number with us and that is the first number so we will have to choose it right similarly dp of 1 comma 1 means we have just one number and that is the for, uh, second number of the array so we have to choose it right but what does dp of 1 comma 2 uh, signifies it signifies that we have got three numbers and we can choose two among them so that is the pairing over there so what i'm going to do here is that first i will use a for loop uh, from the array and i'm going to store the uh, diagonal elements of the array as equal to the number for example the 0 0 index uh, dp of 0 comma 0 is equals to nums of 0 dp of 1 1 is equals to nums of 1 dp of 2 2 equals to nums of 2 so first i'm going to have this layer then what i'm going to do here is that i'm going to use a, a for loop a nested for loop in such a manner that i'm going to fill this line and then i'm going to fill this line and then i'm going to fill this line so unless and until i reach on this right most corner I am interested in this upper triangular matrix. I am not interested in the lower part because that is going to store key. Yes, uh, player one is ahead of player two from this score. Okay, so that is what I am going to do. But I am also going to use a condition over the, here for filling these elements, and that is dp of i of j equals to 
math dot max of nums of i minus dp of i and something like that. So what this is doing? That's pretty simple. I'm going to explain it. If I choose a particular number uh, at some index i, then the second player has got choices from i plus one to j, right? And if I choose the jth number, then the person has got choices from i to j minus one. That is why here you can see dp of i plus one of j if the person chooses i, and if the person chooses j, then we have dp of i and j minus one. That is the reason this is here. Also, why am I using this minus sign? This minus sign signifies the effective difference between the numbers uh, between the players, right? So, uh, like in this case, if you see, in any case, player one is going to choose one and two, and player two is going to choose five. So, at last, I am going to have three minus five, and that is minus two. So, if the result is going to be less than zero. Then I'm going to return false, and if it is going to be greater than or equals to zero, I'm going to return true. So we can have this if condition here that I just talked about. I'm going to check this last rightmost element after filling or this array, and I'm going to check whether that is negative or positive or zero, and accordingly I'm going to uh, predict true or false. Okay, so this question will get more clear when we see the code. So without wasting any time, let's move on to the code. In the code part, you can see that uh, first I'm having int n equals to nums dot length, which is nothing, but I'm uh, having the length of the array. Then I am constructing a DP matrix that is two cross two matrix of n cross n, and I told you what it is saving. It is saving that from particular i to particular j. Uh, player one is ahead of player two by what amount? By what score? Okay, that it is saving. And I told that first I'm going to save the diagonal elements of this matrix, and that is why I have this for loop here, and that is why dp of i i equals to nums of i. Okay, because you have just one number left, so you will have to choose it. You don't have a choice there, right? And these two nested for loops are doing nothing but they are traversing the uh, uh, what should I say? That matrix. In that order, I am using this nested for loop for uh, filling the elements of matrix in that slanting order that I discussed upon, right? Moving parallel to the diagonal of this matrix. So I am using these for loop for that purpose. Like it is starting from length equals to one, and that is starting from i equals to zero, and it is going to run from n minus length of one. So it is. If you can run this loop and you can test it. You will find that it is moving in the similar manner that I was discussing before. Okay, so I am having j that will be equals to i plus length. Obviously, we are incrementing i by length, uh, and we are not starting length from zero. Why? Because we have filled the diagonal elements of matrix. So we are uh, starting from j equals to one. What j equals to one signifies is that we have two elements left, and if we have two elements left, then what should we do? And what? Uh, What, what the diagonal matrix signify? It is that we just have one element left, so we don't have a choice. Similarly, if we move on, we have three elements. What should we do? Four elements. What should we do? Five elements. What should we do? That is how this code is working. And uh, we've discussed about this line of code earlier as well. And here, what I am doing? I am just checking. If I choose the first element or if I choose the last element, then I'm going to calculate the difference between them. And I'm going to just get the maximum out of these, okay? And when I am done with filling my DP of i j matrix, then I will check at last the rightmost element of matrix, and that is DP of zero and minus one. Is that greater than or equals to zero or not? So if that is greater than or equals to zero, that means that player one is going to win, okay? And if it is less than zero, then player one can't win. Player two is going to win. I discussed about it earlier, right? Here you can see one plus two is three, and three minus five is minus two. So player two is going to win. But in this case, you can see one five twenty two thirty three and seven. You will see that the result is going to be positive. Okay. So uh, like how I can show you, like here we have two thirty two thirty three. So two thirty three minus five. What is that? It is some positive number. Seven minus two twenty eight. That is a negative number. But one minus negative number. So one minus negative number gets back a positive number to you. Don't worry if you don't understand this particular topic. It has got some depth inside it. 
सो दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट दिस कोर्ट थैंक यू